Hello, 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 and welcome to the Vrangru's unit of the Reek. And today, we're taking a look at the Armitar WZ-36 37mm anti-tank gun. So, the origins of this gun is not Polish, but it is, in fact, a Swedish gun made by the all-famous Bofors company. It was originally designed in the mid-1930s as an export anti-tank gun, and a lot of European countries would end up using this Bofors 37mm. They were used in the Spanish Civil War, they were used in the Winter War, the invasion of Denmark, one of these guns actually saw action and managed the damage to tanks. They were also used by the British in North Africa. But of course, one of the more notable users of this anti-tank gun were the Poles in 1939. And in 1939, this was a very adequate anti-tank gun, as it could pretty much knock out all the Panzer runs and twos which the Germans were sending into Poland, and it proved to be pretty effective. Of course, when Poland fell, a lot of these would end up falling into German hands, and then during the Warsaw Uprising, the Polish Home Army managed to reacquire quite a few of these anti-tank guns for use during those 63 days. In-game, the Armitar WZ.36 37mm is a 30-point anti-tank gun available exclusively to the Polish Home Army, and it has one weapon. And that weapon being the WZ-36, with 20 AP shells and 40 high-explosive shells. The AP shells are pretty underwhelming, the main thing is that you have a high rate of fire, but you do have a rather low range, of course. You do have high explosive shells, and quite a lot of them. Not the best damage, of course, but with a high rate of fire, you can still definitely knock out enemy soft targets. Up down to miscellaneous stat, it has 4 HP. Good optics, very good stealth, and light cargo space. So in battle, the WZ.36 is a light anti-tank gun, and you would be surprised that it does light anti-tank gun things. It's not the best anti-tank gun in the world, of course, especially considering that the other light anti-tank gun you can get is a 45mm, which has better range and armor penetration, as well as APCR shells. But that's not really the main gimmick of the WZ. The main gimmick is that it has high explosive shells, which is pretty rare on light anti-tank weaponry, meaning that you can stress out enemy infantry and other soft targets pretty easily. Yes, not the best damage in the world, of course, but if an enemy infantry unit or soft target is making its way across an open field and you have one of these guys set up, you can pretty easily stress them out before they can make it to the other side. And considering you're paying 30 points, that's not bad. You can kind of consider these guns to be very light infantry guns, with a very poor range, of course. Really, that range is their biggest detriment. Even though it's not the most sexiest anti-tank weaponry to use, you do get quite a lot of them. You get two cards worth, and with a baseline two-star veteran sheet, you get six of them in A phase, and nine of them in B phase. And with that two-star veteran sheet, it does boost your rate of fire to 20 rounds a minute, which is pretty insane. I would imagine that a lot of the crewmen using these guns were originally Polish soldiers back in 39, using the exact same guns, but against more heavily armoured German targets this time. And even though it's rather crap anti-tank weaponry will be taken up an anti-tank slot, you get quite a lot of slots and not a whole lot of options, so really taking a card of these is not a very bad idea. And even then, for 30 points to knock out lightly armoured vehicles, such as reconnaissance cars, you can't really go too wrong. Also to note is that you can get them with armed transport, such as a Fiat truck and a Fiat Jeep, which are both pretty good 5-point machine gun units if you want to be a little bit more offensive, especially in the openers, you can use these things to get into a forward position and maybe start sniping some enemy transport or enemy armoured vehicles. But overall, it's not bad at all for 30 points. You get a lot of them, you have high veterancy, and it proves to be a pretty decent, very light infantry support gun. And well, I'm going to leave it off. Yeah, this has been another Rang Rouge Unit of the Reek. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and as usual, please just take it easy.